Let's see how to calculate the income tax for an individual. Use the 2008 marginal tax rates table to calculate the income tax owed by the following person. Single, no dependents, gross income $36,500, $2,000 paid to a tax deferred IRA, $4,700 mortgage interest, $1,300 property taxes, no tax credits. We're going to begin by noting that the tax table you can find in your textbook is fairly involved, has to do with tax rates, how your filing status is, standard deduction, and exemptions. We'll begin with the adjusted gross income. To do that, we take the gross income, which in this case was $36,500, and we subtract from it any adjustments, which in this case would be the $2,000 paid to a tax-deferred IRA. So we come up with $34,500. We now calculate the taxable income by taking our adjusted gross income, which was the $34,500, and subtracting from it any exemptions and deductions. To determine the exemptions, we're going to need to look back at the chart. And so in our chart, we're going to be looking at the exemptions when we're dealing with a single person, and that would be $3,500. Down at the bottom, you'll find it. So we're going to have exemptions of $3,500, plus any deductions. Well, we have the $4,700 in mortgage interest and the $1,300 in property taxes. Together, that gives us $6,000 that we can change, that we can say are going to be deductions. So we're going to have then $34,500 minus $9,500, which is going to leave us with $25,000. Now, to determine the income tax, we're going to have to figure out the percentages that we're going to be using according to this table. The tax rate is 10% up to $8,025, and then 15% for any amount from $8,026 to $32,550. Because the person we're dealing with has the income that we're dealing with of $25,000, we're going to use the 10% and the 15% brackets as follows. We're going to take 10% of the first $8,025 that he earns, plus we're going to have to take 15% of any amount over that with his income. So we're going to take the $25,000, we're going to subtract off the $8,025 that we've already taken 10% of to give us now $802.50 when we multiply here, plus we're going to have 15% of this difference, which is $16,975. We can use a calculator to determine that this amount is going to be $3,348.75, and this would be the amount of income tax owed by this individual.